Hello everyone, Jonathan Alfonso and welcome back to the channel where we discuss all things real estate. In today's video, I want to go over Bank of America introduces a new program called the Affordable Loan Solution, which they trademarked by the way. And I'm glad they trademarked it, but was the name that good that they needed to trademark it? Anyways, the program aims to add 60,000 new loans where they are going to invest in primarily African-American and black neighborhoods and Hispanic Latino neighborhoods, according to their press release. And so I want to go into the program, why it is that they decided to do this program. What are the requirements of the program and what are the benefits of the program? Before we continue, if I could just ask you, if you could give us a like and subscribe down below, it allows us to reach more people. It allows the algorithm to pick us up. And more importantly, it gets me having more conversations. For example, this video that I'm making about the BOA program is because so many people reached out to me and started asking me questions. And I realized, you know what? I need to make a video and explain it to you all. So in advance, thank you guys so much for watching, for liking, subscribing, and for being a follower of this channel. Now, before I dive deep into the program, one thing that I want to get out of the way is, you know, when this program was announced last week, I saw a lot of people posting on social media and they were saying all sorts of things where they were like oh my god you know the way the market is with the market you know as hot as it's been do we need another loan program and this and that and listen i don't know what people's motivations for any of these things are but you know one thing that i want to get out of the way is i started looking at the program and it seems like bank of america is committing at least from the literature that i'm seeing to sixty thousand loans now we're projected this year to do about 5.7 million transactions throughout the United States. So if Bank of America is rolling this out, they are committing to 60,000 homes through 2025. That's let's say it's just they do it over the next three years and they they actually meet their goals, which would be about 20,000 homes a year. Considering there's 5.7 million sales projected, we did 6 million last year. And even if you go back to 2019 numbers, we're still, you know, trekking at like, you know, five and a half million homes on average 20,000 even if you know four other banks joined and they started doing a hundred thousand we're talking less than two percent of all properties sold I, I just I don't think it's gonna move the needle maybe in some of these markets it will but you know the program at least is showing that they have some sort of commitment so let's jump into that program the first thing we need to cover in this video is why is this program even being created and the reality is on average, blacks and Hispanics are denied for mortgages more than whites and other ethnicities. For example, Lending Tree has found that 7% of blacks and Hispanics receive a mortgage denial when applying for a mortgage. When it comes to, for example, whites, they're at 4%, Asians are even lower at 3%. But that whole disparity is something that this program and other initiatives being taken by lending institutions is trying to kind of alleviate. The next part of this program is, which is why I'm sure they put that requirement in the program that it needs to be for a mortgage in a predominantly black or Latino community, is that, you know, for example, they have found one of the issues in real estate is just steering. And steering is just where, you know, certain people will be like, oh, well, you know, there's certain people that live there. I'm not sure if you would want to live there. That is something that realtors are not allowed to do, but unfortunately, it is a common problem in the industry. And for example, there was a whole investigation and this whole thing that went down in Long Island, I believe about like two and a half years ago, where journalists went out and they were interviewing realtors and they found them on the record, realtors just saying horrible things, you know, just kind of pushing people away from certain areas based on, you know, the ethnicity and, and individuals that lived in the area. This leads us to the second point, which is, you know, what is the benefit? fit of having this program and I think having this program is important because it encourages people to kind of get on that path to home ownership and it gets people to buy in these neighborhoods and it makes investments in these neighborhoods listen if you look closely a couple years ago we passed the opportunity zone legislation right which for lack of a better phrase allowed you know big investors to you know kind of invest in certain areas and they were kind of incentivized if they were willing to hold loans in these areas over 10 years where they would get benefits over capital gains I mean this is not any different right it's uh, it's allowing certain people the opportunity and giving them a benefit if they invest in in certain areas it allows for investment in those areas by homeowners so i don't you know from that standpoint like i'm always going to encourage investments in real estate and getting people on the path to home ownership and the second thing is is like i think about my my own personal journey right when i when i started in you know kind of my real estate investing journey right it was actually back in 2010 i had just gotten out of law school i was paying rent i really couldn't afford anything luckily you know having been in the business knowing people etc you know my family was able to put me in touch with a you know a quasi hard 
money lender. They lent me uh, $75,000 to buy my first apartment. You know, that kind of became my first foray. You know, they didn't really take much of a down payment. It was, you know, I, I really just got lucky at the end of the day, right? I got lucky that, you know, my family knew someone. They lent me money to buy an apartment. And, but, you know, when I kind of look at my trajectory over time and now what I've been able to do with that, you know, that apartment in 2015, I sold for like, uh, I believe it was like $170,000 um, at the time. So I was able to take, you know, that $100,000. I was able to then put it down as a down payment for my house, which is my house that I have now. And it's just over time, real estate is just one of those things. So why shouldn't other individuals have this opportunity? So, you know, from that standpoint, like, you know, we really have to encourage, you know, lenders and, you know, even at the national lender, just having these programs out there. Because like, as you see, and I told you at the beginning, we're talking about 20,000 people. Like, yes, ideally we would be able to help everyone, you know, but money's not infinite. But, you know, if we put some people onto a better path, you know, and we're able to show that and showcase it, I think, you know, that benefit of having people kind of be able to start, you know, gaining some equity and, you know, putting together some wealth, you know, just helps society as a whole. And I think from that standpoint, we really have to encourage this. This leads us to our third part, which is what are actually the requirements of this program? And as I go through these requirements, I'm also going to give you, you know, some of my feedback on this. And, you know, I do understand at this point that, you know, it is a pilot program. And so that's the first requirement that you need to understand is it's a pilot program and it's being rolled out initially in four cities. Those four cities are Dallas. Miami, Los Angeles, and Charlotte. Now remember, it is in those four markets, but it has to be in neighborhoods that are defined by the U.S. Census Bureau as predominantly black, African-American, Latino, Hispanic neighborhoods. The next requirement is that the homeowner is required to go through a HUD certification program for new homeowners. If you want, you guys can send us a message and I can give you a link to where you can find those, but you have to take one of those homeowner certification courses. And the objective here is obviously to get people to understand, you know, what is entailed with home ownership. Because remember, it's not just so much like, hey, you're gonna buy a home, your savings, your expenses, unanticipated expenses that may come down the pipe and all the responsibilities that come with that. And so their certification program aims to kind of educate people on the entire home buying process. Bank of America had already come out with its affordable loan solution program, which was a 3% down mortgage. And apparently this will be an add on to that where Bank of America will give out grants up to $10,000, so 3% or, or a maximum of $10,000, to basically make this a no money down low. Now, this is one of the first issues that I see because if they're saying, you know, they're putting this program out there where you can basically come with no money and get closing costs to the table if you meet all their requirements. In Miami-Dade County, your median sales price is already at $380,000 for a townhouse or a condo, and you're talking close to $570,000 for a single family home. So it seems like, you know, as they kind of flesh out this program, you know, are most people gonna really be there or they're still gonna have to come with some money to the table? So that's kind of one of the first things that I would keep an eye out as you know, these start to get underwritten. But listen, even if you were buying $600,000 and you have money for a down payment, if you can get some down payment assistance and you can also get your closing costs covered, I mean, that could really be a benefit and still help you to kind of get into a home. The program also offers $7,500 in closing cost assistance, which listen, that is also a big issue that I see a lot of times. And this is across all borrowers where typically people will see, well, you know, the mortgage is, you know, 5% down. So let's say it's $500,000. All right, Right, I need $25,000 to buy. A lot of people, what they don't factor in is that, yes, that is the down payment for the mortgage requirement, but then you need to add all the closing costs on top of that. Your documentary stamps, your prorations, your insurance, your escrows, and all of these typically can add up to $15,000, $20,000, if not more, if you're talking a property in the price range of four to $500,000. So that's in addition to your down payment. So typically you would need more available funds. So it's nice that you get $7,500 which you can also apply towards your closing costs. Next, apparently the program has no minimum credit score, but it does have some criteria, which this is where I start to see, you know, some of the issues. And this is where I'm, you know, a little reluctant with all of this because Bank of America will determine, and I'm going to read straight from it here from one of the press releases that the homeowner slash borrower has resources to sustain home ownership and has demonstrated a willingness and ability to repay. The issue that I see with this is it's kind of vague. So yes, they're telling you, you don't need a credit score. What kind of credit history 
history are they looking at if you have no credit history how many months back are they gonna allow you to give like a letter of explanation for example if you have something negative on your credit and maybe now the underwriter is scrutinizing that this is where I start to see some issues because like even myself now I'm going through my third loan this year and I can tell you that when you're dealing with these underwriters it's no different than the law they have these instructions and now they start to review everybody has their own interpretation and what ends up happening in there and this is always against the backdrop of if you're going through this program you probably have a contract out there and your deposit is on the line so you have some sort of deposit with the seller and what ends up happening with that i would like a little more clarity on this hopefully this gets fleshed out in the coming months the remaining requirements to me you know seem kind of you know self-explanatory and you know kind of to be expected the property has to be owner occupied the loan can be an fha va or a conventional loan. The last part is that the property has to be for a fixed rate mortgage, which if you're getting any one of those products, typically you would not be getting like some hybrid arm or anything like that. So that I all find to be kind of standard. It's really, you know, the beginning issues that we spoke about where I really, you know, want some clarity. So there you have it folks. Bank of America is basically trying to patent and come out with and, you know, kind of make it more commonplace for there to be a loan program that invests in certain Latino and black communities where you could get up to $7,500, you get $10,000 towards loan payment assistance, and they don't scrutinize your credit score, which listen, it all sounds good on paper, but I want to know what are your thoughts on this program? Send me your messages below. Let me know what you think. Feel free to reach out to us. And also, if you are interested in this program, send me a message. You can email me at my email address down below, which is jalfonso at portalre.com because between the time that I am recording this video and when it comes out, I actually have a call in with someone in the Bank of America mortgage department that was referred to me through my local realtor association. They could give me more information. I can find out, you know, whether him or someone else in that department will be the point person so we can refer, you know, homeowners and individuals looking to apply. Tell me if you want more information Information, feel free to reach out. So I look forward to hearing from you all. Give me your thoughts down below and we'll see you on our next video.